Hey everyone, John the Amide Woodsman. Just thought I'd do a little, do a little revere, review on my uh, my bushcraft kit, my hiking kit, whatever I want to call it, I guess, camping kit. It's what I use when I go out. I try not to go out in the woods without it, that's for sure. Uh, let me grab it here. I know it might see it seem to be a lot to some, but you know what? If you're not prepared, you're not going to do it. So. This is my kit. <clears throat> Let me start off a few things here. Um, get this carabiner off here. Got my pad. You gotta have a good seat. You gotta have a good seat. You, know, you can't go out there and be all wet and nasty and uncomfortable. And it just is is no fun. But on here, of course, you see I got some cordage. Got my gloves. Got another uh, paracord bracelet comes in handy, good for making shelters, carabiner, which is also, I got a Ranger brand strap on, it's actually a razor knife, so that's a multi-purpose, it's always nice to have a razor blade like that for certain tasks, you never, never know. Um, then my pouches, I got the, uh, this is the Outlander H2O pouch and my cook kit. And uh, this is my uh, Redline Pro Series. It was like $7.97 at Walmart. This I ordered on Amazon was $14. And this pouch here, I did a trade with uh, Karen Chakley for a, I made her a buck saw, homemade buck saw, and she sent me this pack. So this one runs uh, $12.95 on Amazon. So I just use them for a round figure, them or Wally World, you know. So I guess we can go start from here. I don't think I got anything in this zipper. Yes, I do. I got a signal mirror. I put the key black tape on it. Keep it getting scratched up. Nothing else in there. That I can tell. Nope. Then out here. <clears throat> got a headlamp. I got some three AA batteries for spares. This chain I just whipped up. This is for my uh, when I make a tripod for hanging my pots on for cooking. Don't take up a lot of room. And then I got some uh, saline solution in case you get something in your eyes. I got the little pill bottle with my Moltrin. Another pill bottle with uh, some Imodium AD. Some chapstick. A couple few nails. Never know when you need to nail something down. Can opener. An extra uh, wing nut and bolt for my frog gig for my walking stick. And a couple safety pins. And a pair of tweezers. That's in the front. Then in this pouch, I got a lot of stuff in this this little bag. I'm here to tell you, this is kind of like my my go-to pouch, I guess, because it's stuff I'm going to use a lot. I've got a, some hand warmers. I've got some of my moist towelette deals. Band-Aid. I had a few, but my daughter cut her finger on my sharp knives at Thanksgiving, so I'm short on Band-Aids right now. I got my reading material. Got me a Bible. Some soap. Some onion powder. Some drakes. Powder. Some super glue. I use these old markers. I take the guts out of them. I got, uh, triple antibiotic inside of that so that's kind of handy pencil knife sharpener miniature drill for drilling holes it's got uh, a different array of bits inside it's pretty handy you'd be surprised go right through leather got me a toothpick 
plastic toothpick and that's about it on that side so that's what I carry in there I've got my compass here hooked on the side with a little sharpening stone also kind of just keeps it protected put a little ranger band around it so I'll move this stuff let me move this out of the way I don't want to mix it all up <clears throat> I know it seems like a lot of stuff to carry, but you know what? I don't want to be caught out in the woods with my britches down. It's no fun. There's no sense of being miserable when you go out in the woods. You get a lot of guys talking about these minimalist kits and this and that, you know. I don't want to go out in the woods and be uncomfortable. I want to try to be as comfortable as possible. So that's just the way I do it. This one here. Got a little magnifying glass inside of a ranger band so it don't get all scratched up for fire. This is more of my fire and cordage. There's some bank or some uh, plastic paracord. Got some bank line. I got cover. This is one of those cheap painters tarps. And when you open this up and fold it out, it's like 20 by 20. So it would work really good doubled up, put over a lean tube or a uh, debris shelter or anything like that if you had to. Always got cover with me. Make a poncho out of it. Whatever you want. It works great. Um, my fishing kit that goes with my walking stick. This pouch. <clears throat> Here's some more cordage. This is like a wire but it's it's a fishing line. I used it when I lived in Florida for fishing in the ocean. It's really super strong stuff. You can use it for snares. I got that's my tin with my uh, wax and my already pre-separated jute twine for tinder. Got my, my uh, fire kit, cotton balls, birch bark, white birch bark, my flint, my steel, some uh, jute twine and wax all my goodies in there for that I got my little Zippo container my little cheater it's full of lighter fluid so if you do have a really hard time getting a fire going it just dribbles out of here so you just sprinkle it on so to speak and that's that for that side let me put my lid back on here so I don't dump it Trying to go as fast as I can without messing up. I'm no pro. We all know that. So <clears throat> that's where I'm going out. And then also I got my if I can get them out of here. This pouch wasn't originally for these. My uh, my snap-on multi-tools, really nice, nice saw good knife, low redundancy. And my neck knife with a button compass, another ferrocium rod, whistle, and my knife of course. Then if I'm just going on a little hike, like if I'm going over to the local park, I'm going to go walk down by the river, spend part of the day, I can leave one of these on and put a little food in it. I can unhook it. Take it off, leave it home. This side here, on snap. If I can get it out of there, it's kind of tight because it's filled. Take this off and hook this on my bag. Another nail. All right, this is my basically my H2O and cook kit. On the outside, I got my skewers I made for when I did my video on my old channel with my kebabs I made out in the woods. It was really, really fun. There's a little cheapo light, but you know what? Cheapo is better than no light. It keeps from, especially at night, you know, wandering around, tripping over things. You don't need that. Then, on the back, I got this old cheap Survivor knife, which actually works pretty good and holds a pretty good edge. And it also has a ferrocium rod. 
some more redundancy. You gotta have knives, you gotta have fire. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. My front pouch, pretty important. Pack of coffee, important stuff. This is just a piece of inner tube ranger band. I got my knife, fork, and spoon set that snaps together in there. And I got a little Esbit stove. That way I got more ways to boil water. I've only got one in here, but as you can see, I've used it with my cotton balls before. So follow this doesn't do it, cotton balls will. So put a couple in there for a sheer boil. And I got uh, another ferrocium rod. I got some Coleman water treatment tablets in case I can't make a fire for water. Got a lighter. And I got my uh, Juke Twine Wax, Juke Twine Fire Starter, uh, Fire Straw, I should say. That's pretty cool. You can light the end of that and reach right underneath your fire so you don't collapse everything and light it up. Just leave it under there. Let it burn for a minute or two and it's only going to burn back as far as you let it. Then you just pull it inside and it puts it out. And what else do I got? Nothing else in there. Okay, so that's that stuff. Now we get into the good stuff, the important stuff for me. In here I got my GSI cup, which works very good. Very happy with it. Very nice. Then I got my 32 ounce Skyet bottle with the wide mouth. Bright orange bandana. You gotta have the bright orange bandana. This is my my small pot that I use, and you got holes in it for my chain to hang it. Use that a lot, probably more than anything, because you don't need much to hold a cup of soup, a can of soup, just just fine. And I do have a lid for that, which used to be an old hamburger press. Turned out it works pretty good. And I got this one. These are stainless steel coasters. I got, I don't know, a yard sale or somewhere. But they're thick, real thick, and they're stainless steel. So I got two pots to boil. I can make coffee in one and cook something in the other. What else do I got in here? So I can get it out. Well, that bugger's in there. I must have put that in a different way this time. And my wind, my windscreen that I usually, of course, put around when I got this out. And I got a little scrubby. Clean things up. You got some tin foil, about two foot. And I got another bandana. <clears throat> so, folks, that's what I use. Those are my kits. I mean, I do have packs I could use, I guess, if I'm gonna, if I know I'm going for a night or two, I'd pack up a little different, maybe grab my haversack and this stuff along with it. And uh, I also go, I'll do another video on this. I also use my uh, Camp 10 Kershaw with my saw, cordage, my other small knife, another fire steel. Um, I'll do a review on that at another time so this is what it is if you like it you like it hopefully you like it comment and like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it I'm starting to get my feet back up off the ground and uh, get my channel going so all the views would really be nice so with all that friends and I'd really like to say just have a great day and God bless and be safe <laughs>